Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3, episode 30. Okay, so we're probably going to do a lot more rests this time again. <laughs> Just so that we can catch up on, uh, on Gale, actually. Since it seems that he's a little bit out of order, so I must have too many of his queued and they've just gone a little weird. So, <laughs> yeah, then once we've done a couple of rests, we'll take on these spiders and probably rest again after that. So there's no holding back on the, um, what was it? It was a phase spider queen or something that's up here somewhere. Guess I'll be using all of my spells since there's no point in holding on to them. I don't need to conserve my spell slots at all. Cause I'll just be resting again. So yeah. Okay. Um No one. No one. Okay. Yeah. No one. <laughs> Nobody has anything for me. So I guess that was a waste. That was a complete waste. Okay, well, might as well chat with Gail anyway. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, I'm not giving him an artifact. No, okay. Nothing from any of them. Need something? No. Alright. No. Let's chat with the rest of them, maybe thing just hasn't appeared above their heads. No? Okay. <laughs> well met. Nothing from him. Almost pleasant travelling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Okay, so let's try and get to know her a little bit more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I just think it'd make this easier if we knew each other a little better. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Well, you're not just anyone. You also have a monster in your head. I think that means we should get to know each other better. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by travelling together. No need for interrogations just yet. All right, I'll leave it be. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. All right, so she doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Never mind then. I shall leave you be, Shadowheart. And Lizelle, tell me you can talk to me. Speak. No. All right, well, that was a bit of a waste. <laughs> I'm surprised. Very surprised. I guess they don't always appear when you rest? Alright. I don't suppose... I don't suppose with us... No, he doesn't have anything about it. He's not going to be talking to me, no. <laughs> Let's get some camp supplies and sleep then, I guess. Yep, just a standard... sleep animation. Okay. Nothing interesting at all happened, okay. Well, I mean, I hope that doesn't mean that I've completely caught up on all of my conversations, because surely I haven't. Surely I need more from Gail, but fine. Uh, let's hide. Okay. So it's just those two spiders that I can see right now. Advantage hiding, but disadvantage because we're out of normal range. Okay, so if I walk along the web, she's going to notice me? Maybe? Maybe. I don't suppose there's a rock first to climb on this side. Well, I'd have to get past the other spider anyway, wouldn't I? Okay, there is a rock to climb there, so I could come up behind her, but... I'm sure she would notice me. And little baby spider would notice me as well. Yeah, looks like I'd have to go across web over there anyway, so... Never mind, let's just get closer. Oh, okay, there's two spiders down there. Okay, that changes things a little bit. Well, 
Not a lot, but it does mean that my other idea of going down and around wouldn't work. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. Um, actually, did I actually put any of those boots on? Was it Astarian collecting everything? Maybe, maybe. No, it was you. Okay. Spider step boots. Immune to being enwebbed. You know, kind of thinking I'd give those to Astarian. Yes, he is wearing leather boots, but they're not technically any kind of armor, so shouldn't he shouldn't lose anything. Hopefully. <laughs> but that should mean that he can um, run across the web hidden and not be enwebbed. He shouldn't be stopped. Can you sneak attack? What is your range? Okay, he has to get onto the web to reach her. Is that... Uh, God, God damn it. Come around her. Don't rifle through her pockets. Okay, that did not... That didn't tip her off. And we're still too far out. Target obscured as well. That's annoying. A advantage from hiding though. There we go. So he could get a sneak attack on her now. I think. Go for it. Uh, did you miss? No, I just don't think he actually got a sneak attack, did he? I'm pretty sure that's what I was trying to get him to do. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> okay, so... Surprised. Good. I don't suppose you can, without stepping in the web, go over there. Without stepping in the web, hun. I said without. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. If I get Lazelle over to there, she should be able to jump over. She should be able to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she will be able to. Oh my gosh, you! What is wrong with you? Okay. Come on. Pass your damned save. Alright, wait until she passes and then go into... <laughs> and then go into turn-based mode. I suppose. Oh wow! Come on! You're not this rubbish. She is this rubbish. Okay. Forget you. Shadowheart. <laughs> Can you reach with the guiding bolt? No. Not really. Can you reach that one? Well, she'd have to walk across the web to do it. But she can. How about instead... Ah, there we go, okay. Turn based. Good lord, woman. <laughs> that took a long time. Alright. Um, if she blesses us... Where is it? Bless. Should only be the three of them, right? I think. Yeah, it's better for us. Okay. All right. Dear Lord, woman, I have no idea why I'm bothering with you. You are in turn burst. Surely you're all in turn burst. Come on. Stop it, you. Okay. Scorching Ray, why not? 
let's yeah 99% 80% maybe I should no because that one's obscured okay let's try and get rid of this one then let's put all three of them on there uh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Okay, let's sell. You need to get into turn based so that you don't mess this up. Okay. What she needs to do is jump. So give yourself your Gith Yankee jump. And she revealed herself, so now she is in, um, she's in the lineup. But I don't think she's going to be able to go this turn. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay, it's surprised. Or maybe, maybe I should just finish that one off. That way they'll have to come to me if we fall back. Can you sneak attack against that? Really? Height advantage isn't advantage then? <laughs> okay. Let's just shoot it then. A starion. I'm un I'm surprised and kind of annoyed. Okay, let's dash you and you can run back this way. Step quick. And behind cover. Although I'm not sure if that'll actually count as kind of cover. Okay, those are surprised. That's fine. She has saved against whatever. Also fine. Lizelle really needs to jump all the way over there. I'm just not liking her chance of landing on the web and not the floor. <laughs> uh, I mean, I hope. I hope she'll land on the web. Well, we're gonna try it. So if she lands on the floor... Good! She is unwebbed, but she's over there. Good. Alright. Doesn't look like she'll actually be able to do much. And she doesn't have a pommel strike because it's a... Alright, okay, okay, okay. Well, try and lacerate then. Ah, she's in web so she can't move. Okay. That means she can't attack? No. She just can't... Really? That she could do, but throwing using her sword she can't? What do you mean it's too far? It's right in front of her. Let's throw a spike bulb at him. Yes, you can bleed too. I don't care. Okay, never mind. Okay, you've got... 10 hit points to get rid of. Just 10. Um, Scorching Ray again. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Alright, she did do some damage against the Matriarch and she didn't do enough against the Fade Spider, but it's something, and that's what we needed. Move off the web, please. Okay. Now hide. <laughs> and end turn. Astarian, yes. If I hide him, he should get sneak attack if he walks to there and shoots that, right? He should. I'm not sure if he'll be able to reach all the way over there, but he should have it. Okay, move up, 
and sneak attack it. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you can't see him. Don't even try to tell me you can't see it. <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Wow. How? Really? Uh, okay. God damn. This is definitely not the best place I could have positioned myself. Can't see anything. Well, that's rubbish. <laughs> Completely rubbish. Just dash yourself and... Come back over to here. Get as far as you can. I don't care who you can see, but surely next time you'll be able to hit that. Surely. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> He's immediately been revealed. Brilliant. Thanks. Thank you, Fizz Spider. Sure. Hit it with a guiding bolt. Very nice. Okay. I don't think any of us have really taken any damage. No. So... Can she cast a shield of faith on Lazel? Is she too far away? She'd have to come onto the web to do it. Okay. Well, do it on Astarian instead then. Okay. Right. 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 Well, never mind. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, well. That certainly happened. So she's, she'd have to jump down again. Hopefully. Hopefully that's not going to cost her any uh, health points, but I guess we'll find out. No, we won't, because she's unwebbed herself. <sighs> Just shoot it. Yeah. Alright. Deal with it, hun. Deal with it. Okay. Magic missile. Why not? Let's just stick them all on there. Oh, two hit points left. God damn. All right. Hide. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Astarian. You are threatened, I'm going to assume. Uh, so... Just slap that one, please. Nice. Good boy. And then... Cunning action dash and get over here. Yes. Stay there. Now, you should be able to get here. Okay, okay. And rush attack it. So it failed, so it's off balance. Hopefully that will do something good. <laughs> okay. And turn. Ah, uh, okay, we've got little phase babies. Lovely. Nice. Oh, <laughs> critical hit against me from the spider baby. Very nice. Okay. I'm not sure if I really care to, but Clint, can you cleave this? Is it only going to be two? It'll be three. Okay, try it. Alright. She killed two. 
card. There's still one. I don't want to waste my pommel strike on that. I was hoping to use it against the big one. Ugh. Can she shove that? 95%. Do it. There we go. It's dead. Brilliant. It worked for once. <laughs> All right. Uh. Sure, action surge. Why not? I don't... It doesn't matter. You might as well hit something. There we go. Cleared out all the babies. End your turn there. That's fine. Alright, so there's that one with two hit points. Her with a lot. And is it just the one baby on you? I think it's just the one baby on her. Still six hit points though. That's annoying. All right, magic missile. Because of course, get two on you, one on you, and one on you. Oh, the little baby tanked that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Someone got an inspiration point for something. <laughs> Killing spiders, I guess. Uh, get an offhand attack on that. Nice. Okay, now it's just mum. Alright. Yeah, I move a little bit away. And then, fine. Now, Astarian. Astarian. What do you want to do? Try and hide? She has amazing vision. Okay, that was not going to work ever, was it? Okay. You could throw some fire at her. Could throw some fire at that and maybe drop her. Yeah, why not? It'll have to spend its time- Oh my god! That took her out as well? That was- I thought that was two walkways, not one. That's ridiculous. God. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Well, that sucks to be you, Lazel, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Okay, there's no way I'll be able to reach Lazelle from there with a healing word, is there? Yes, I could. Okay, we'll do it then. Why not? And while we're here, just hit it with a guiding bolt if you can. 49% chance. Just do it. Hey, okay. Good. <laughs> Good. You can plot your next move. Yeah. Spider Queen's Wrath. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Shadow Heart. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's... What even was that? Uh, Shadow... Uh, Spider Queen's Wrath. Okay. Increased her strength by two while her armor class is reduced by one. Okay. So it's rage. It's rage. Okay. Venomous bite. <laughs> 11 piercing, 5 poison, 8 poison. So what was that? A couple of bites? I think that was two bites. It must have been. At least Lazelle's up now. So whenever you, <laughs> whenever you want to Lazelle, you can... Uh, God, I don't know. Jump up. Can she jump from that? She can. Sure, jump up. Sweet. Okay. Now slap her. If you can, come on. 11 hit points, that's decent. I'll take it. And you, I guess... Magic missile, why not? Okay, she has one hit point. What's... who's next? Astarian. Uh, you know what? 
I'll try and hit her with an offhand. Uh, no, we can't get close. Okay, well, never mind then. Astarian will have to do it. it can he? He can sneak attack. Sweet, okay. And that's her gone. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> that was a terrible, terrible, terrible time that I just had with that. Oh, the planning and all that was awful. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Can you healing word yourself? Take your, your, your. Yeah, it's not much, but it's something that'll make me feel a little bit less bad for you. Let's check that body. Nothing. Okay. Check the big body. Hey, okay, we've got Poisoner's Robe. Poison Trails. When the wearer casts a spell that deals poison damage, it deals an additional 1d4 poison damage. That's sweet. Found in the Spider Queen's stomach, this robe emanates a sour smell and stings to the touch. Ooh. That's gross. Well, <laughs> that was awful. That was terrible. Never mind. Never mind. It could have been worse. Okay. It could have been worse. I'm not sure how, <laughs> but it could have been. Okay, let's check out that skeleton. 12 gold, a longbow, and a tourmaline ring. Sweet. This fizz spider has a skull. Well, at least it had something. And this fizz spider has nothing. Okay. And the babies? The babies shouldn't have anything because they were just made. I feel a breeze. I wonder what's Ooh. down there. Oh, by all means. You first. <laughs> she feels a breeze, so there's something down here. We can jump down there. That seems like a really, really, really bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> nah. I don't think so. No, nothing in that one. Gosh, nothing in any of them. Okay. Well, I suppose the loot we got from the queen might be good enough. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I keep poisoning you. It's for a good cause, though. <laughs> okay. Don't suppose we get anything in the pile of skulls. I'm assuming that's a pile of skulls. Yes, it is. Nothing in the skulls. Okay doesn't look like somewhere that we can go though. How do we even get down there? Ah, okay. Maybe... Maybe there? I, I, it kind of looks like from over here that that's a place to jump to. And I'm assuming you jump from down there into there. But it could just be the way that this is... The way it looks and not actually what it is. Unless it wasn't actually talking about the pit that the breeze was coming from. <laughs> Which would make more sense, really. Because I really can't see how we could get back out of there. Definitely not sure if I should even bother right now. I'll be sleeping before we, before we even try it, so... A waypoint was discovered, that's a dagger, lovely. Yes, okay, there is an ancient rune circle right there. Well, that's, well, good and bad, because that does mean that this is probably the way to something else, then. Bone. Cool. And a bottle from the skeleton. Okay. Nothing else? Or is this the jumping off point? <sighs> Seems like a terrible idea. No, not hide. Okay, never mind. Well, she can't jump anyway because she's over encumbered. Okay. So what do we have that we can get rid of? Leather gloves. Just random leather gloves. Okay. You have leather gloves. You have better gloves. And you have better gloves. Okay, well. I suppose we could send the leather gloves to camp then. So, do I actually have any poison... No, I don't have any poison spells. Who did I give poison spells to? Someone... 
No one. Actually, I don't think I have any poisoners. <laughs> uh, damn. Alright, well. It's still a nice rub. But not useful right now. Okay. Well. I guess it's time to go up a little. And climb that wall. Yep. Come on. Use it. See what we've got up here. Eggs. Just eggs. Okay. Can we just shoot them? Yes, we can, but. <laughs> You're kind of rubbish at this. Come on, we need better numbers than four. It's only four hit points, come on. There we go, come on. This is where I find out later that there's a quest to find, <laughs> to collect phase spider eggs and that's why there's so many of them. <laughs> uh, okay. So you can pick up whatever that is. Or not. Lizelle. Can you pick something up there? You can pick up the shell? Open? No? No? Okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's just roll our luck on this. Alright, you made it. Brilliant. Oh, damn it. Come on. I know that's something I can pick up. There we go. Dark Amethyst. Oh, that's down there. Okay. You can't shake the feeling that darkness seeps out of this heavy orb-like stone. Oh, I am coming for you. I am definitely coming for you. Can we not? Okay. So we can only attack the eggs, but when they're cracked open, it wants it wants me to pick them up or try to open them or something. I'm going to assume... Oh, damn, 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 done. <laughs> that was silly. Okay. I'm going to assume that that's not actually something we're supposed to be able to do with it and it's just uh, a placeholder or something. We're not actually supposed to be able to interact with the eggs all that much. Okay. Yeah. Alright, guys. Get down there and grab that amethyst. Astarian. Pick it up. Sweet. So no explanation for the pretty awesome amethyst. Just we have it. Okay. And we can't examine it either. <laughs> God damn. Alright, well, never mind. It's something cool and we have it, so nothing? Nothing over here. So can I Yes, that does, I mean, it does kind of look like a way down. Surely. Can you... no? Ah, ah! Yes. Okay, you can jump down to there, technically. Okay. Again. <sighs> okay, so we can just jump into the hole. I don't know. That seems like a really bad idea. I haven't finished checking this place out anyway, so... Let's check that skeleton. Uh, an onyx ring, a quarter staff, and ten gold. Sweet. Okay. I think there's probably not much left here. Is that another place to jump? Technically. <laughs> Oh, really? That's weird. Ugh. Just looks like a terrible, terrible idea. No, no. Uh, 
grab those bones. Two gold. That's sweet. Okay, weren't we supposed to be looking for that um, apprentice's master, though, down here? Uh... Or maybe, or maybe he was left in the village and it was the apprentice that came down here to get away from him. But I'm pretty sure his journal said uh, that his body was going to be down here. Let's find that book again. Apprentice's journal, right, okay. Tome of Necromancy and the Key Gem. Secure in the tunnels. I'm assuming the Key Gem is the uh, the amethyst that we've just picked up. All right. Well, I guess we got it then. That must be it. Whispering depths. I am a little bit too chicken to jump into the hole. <laughs> I haven't finished checking out over this way either, so let's let's go back up here. Okay, get up there. Yes, okay, and now we're back into the blacksmith's place. Which we knocked through the wall last time. But we didn't actually come into. Oh, it's just a bone. <laughs> okay. Just a bone. Is that... That's just a shabby door, okay. Well, can you climb on that? Oh, really? Really? No, come here. She can't jump on the crate then, so there's nowhere to climb down, technically. Uh, not hide. Why do I always click on hide? <laughs> jump. Can you... Jump down to there? Don't kill yourself? Still damage. It's still taking damage. Okay. Never mind. Let's just clear the place out then. A short sword, very nice. That candle is lit, so we will leave it. Ooh, grab those tongs, nice. Check the bottle rack. Nothing in the bottle rack, of course. Light the torch, sweet. Not that it's helping much, but, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Thieves tools, all right, a hammer and some rope, sweet. Move that over. Move that. Doesn't look like there's anything over there though. Nah. Okay. Light the torch. Check the boxes. Nothing. Uh, tongs, rope and thieves tools. Okay. And a hand axe. Okay. Move that, move that. Get down <laughs> and move that if you can. Guys, okay, stop moving. Okay. Yeah, nothing under there. Melting furnace. Oh, sweet, we can turn it on. <laughs> okay. And use the bellows. Oh, that's awesome. God damn. Is that useful for something then? Is that... Am I supposed to be doing something with that rather than just playing around with it? It's kind of what it seems like to me. You're giving me a working furnace, guys. Nothing in the box. Okay. And that's a torch, though. Okay. No books or anything like that. The approachable east. That's nice. Okay. 
thieves tools and tongs okay I need to get rid of some stuff from your inventory uh, give the thieves tools to a starion and send everything else to camp okay drag that out there's nothing in there but you can light the torch anyway perception failed that's a good start <laughs> well this isn't even a start is it okay shadow heart just guide yourself and then come over here see whatever it is that she missed a trap ah okay she saw a trap Lazelle I can't believe you didn't see that okay don't suppose there's a, a torch around here no well there's torches up there that's good to know but nothing that could help with the sight here oh. <laughs> yes you can reach you can yes you can don't be mean come on climb on mm. now light it Urgh! okay fireball it then there we go Ever onward. honestly the game tests me sometimes. Alright, uh, Shadow Heart. Give guidance to a Starion. A Starion. Disarm. It's just ten. We should be fine. Yeah, perfect. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Sweet. Okay. High Cliff's blueprints. Intricate blueprints for three impressive sounding weapons and three gold. Ooh. Uh, sweet. Let's get your inventory and read them. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons. A great sword, a sickle and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page emphasizing an unusual ingredient susar bark the susar bark can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade okay so they call for susar bark if only i knew where to find some god damn it astarian <laughs> um let's give that to lazelle maybe lazelle can read it and find out No, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Okay, I can't have them all check it. Still gonna try. Nope, okay. No one has any idea about this Susa bark. No, never mind. Nope, okay. Astarian, you had guidance as well. <laughs> How could you do this to me? Okay, thieves' tools and shears. Actually, can we move that chest? We can move the chest. There's nothing under there, but let's sell. Pick up the chest. Uh, move that crate if you can. Nothing in there. Aha! A rapier and a great club. And can't move that. Okay. A dagger and a battle axe. Nothing in there. Large bottle. Nothing in the open crate. Nothing in the cupboard. Ooh, we can take some tea though. And a tin cup. Uh, a fork. <laughs> a spoon. Tin plate. Yes. Grab that bucket as well. Because you never know. Ink pot and quill. Ooh, a candle. Sweet. Glass chalice. Very nice. Okay. Mug of beer. <laughs> Mug of ye olde beer as well. My gosh. How old is this? Uh, book of... Stack of books says nothing, of course. Carafe of water. Candle. Nothing in the bottle rack. Okay, guys, you're crowding. 
All right, you. Grab that tin cup. Astarian, since you're right in front, grab that bottle. And the Approachable East, Volume 6. Uh, pick it up. I'm not sure if we've already read that one or not. Uh, you know what? Um, Lizel. Pick up the bedroll as well. Okay. Nothing else is flagging up or anything like that. Thieves tools, a hammer and some tongs. Okay, nothing in there. Let's move that over. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Oh, a broom. Sweet. Taking it. <laughs> nothing in the burlap sack. Uh, nothing in that one either. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we've checked that. So, yeah. Okay. Well. So I need Susa back. And then to come back and forge something. Okay. Is that, that is a broom right there. How did I miss that broom? We're going back for it. <laughs> okay. Now you may go up. Uh, light that torch, please. Yep. And that one. Sweet. Okay. Astarian. Smoke powder barrel. It's too heavy. Lizelle. When ignited, the barrel explodes in a radius of six meters. Targeted creatures must make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw or take 44 plus 18 force damage. On a successful save, targets still take half damage. Given the volatility of its contents, this barrel ought to be opened carefully. <laughs> she can pick it up. We're taking that. Okay. Light hammer. Yes, she can move it. Okay. Sweet. Alright. I hope that doesn't mean that we're supposed to fight someone down here. Or something. This isn't like a false wall or anything, is it? Can't see anything. You never know, though. You never know. Okay. Astarian. Well, hello. Try the chest. Oh, he unlocked it. Okay, so we had a key from something. <laughs> Steel Forge Sword. Very nice. Okay, though the grip's leather is old and crusty, it shows no signs of wear and not a single scratch mars the slender blade. Sweet, it's a short sword. And it's just a plus one weapon, but it's still pretty cool. Alright. Take that. Is that something you can use? Short bow. Short sword. Okay. Well. Yeah. Why not? There we go. It's not quite as elegant as a rapier, but. Oh. Okay, so it loses one at the high end, but gains one at the low end. Yeah, alright. Oh, it makes him lose something. What is that though? Weakening strike. Have I ever used that? Possibly. I guess we'll find out though. Well, in that case then. What to do? You have a short sword, don't you? It's just I didn't want to have all of the uh, fantastic weapons on me. But for Astarian, he's not going to have any good stuff. All right, he does get the bonuses on sneak attack though, so I'm not going to feel too bad about it. There we go. Yeah, it's at least more damage for me. And you can take those. Okay. 
Unfortunate, but what can you do? <laughs> I can't believe she has a smoke powder barrel. But that might be something she'll be able to throw, so... You know. Maybe, maybe. It could be a very, very good thing. Okay, so now we need to get out of here. Go through this door if we can. Okay. Light the torch. Light the torch. Yep. Okay. Check out more crates. Nothing. Okay. And a hammer and some thieves tools. Sweet. Let's move that. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Light the torch. Grab the bucket. My lap sack. Nothing. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Can't move that. Okay. Can move that. And that one. No, she can't move that one. Okay. Gosh, nothing. Nope, all the good stuff was in the room, I'm guessing. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Grab that hammer. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay. That's, that is a bucket that she can take. So take it. Okay, these tools, a rope, and some shears. Nice. Okay, and a hammer, a rope, and some tongs. Okay. Can't pick up. <laughs> can't pick up the wheelbarrow. Oh, God damn it. Aside from the obvious. Yes, everything's fine. Oh. Grab the shovel. Did I check the actual cupboard itself? Okay, rope and tongs. And another bucket. Okay, grab that rope. Check out that. A morning star and a dagger. Sweet. I can't move that. Speak. Oh, god damn it. Guys, <laughs> you're in my way. Can't move that. Okay. Nothing in the pot that I can do. Barrel. Nothing. Shears, a hammer, and more thieves' tools. That's a lot of thieves' tools in this place. <sighs> Methinks this blacksmith was perhaps not on the level. <laughs> uh. Move them all over. In fact, let's send most of this to camp. Send all of the journals to me. Okay. You're looking a lot better now. I don't suppose... Uh, not reactions. You have any more spells to learn? No. Okay. <laughs> and uh, she's pretty much tapped out on that, I suppose. Okay. Well, looks like we're going to be putting these journals in here as well now. Very nice. So, not a drider then. <laughs> Definitely not a drider. Just a, just a phase spider matriarch. Which is still pretty cool if you're aiming for a spider, then a phase spider is one to go for, I guess. Just a bit of a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a letdown. Since you can't talk anymore. Okay. I suppose I could put my idol in there as well. Yeah, why not? And in fact... You... What did I want from you? That. The Dark Amethyst. You could put that in your pouch as well. 
think he's keeping all of the mementos. And possible quest items. Okay. You can have the burnt journal as well. So, The Approachable East, Volume 6. Have we read this one? I must say, for a place with so many orcs and goblins, Thesk is a remarkably pleasant land. A true melting pot where all are accepted and quite a lot seems to be permitted. Alas, the crew I sailed here with were imprisoned by the harbour master, but I was soon on the road known as the Golden Way, and it lives up to its name. The wealth of a continent marches along this road. Furs from Neverwinter and iron from Neshkel flow in one direction, while silks and jewels flow the other. I've heard so many stories of the world. The Golden Way passes through Rashman, through the wastes of the Hordelands, and onto the continent of Karatur. A land of empires, dragons, and beasts I've never dreamt of. I'm so close to Rashman, but what was once my dream now sounds so mundane. Last night I made camp and was joined by a charming fellow. I told him my dream of seeing Rashman and he laughed. He claims that Rashman is nothing compared to Thea and invited me to visit the court of the Zulkias. It seemed rude to turn down such an illustrious invitation, so I'll see what this Thea has to offer. Then Rashman and beyond. Oh, cool. That sounds like a bad idea, but okay. What do I know? So suspicious. So suspicious. Just because uh, Thay is not a great land <laughs> doesn't mean that everyone who wants to send you there is sending you to your death. Okay. Let's finish sending this to camp. No idea which keys I've actually used and which ones I haven't. So... Well, I suppose the toll collector's key I have used. So we should be able to put that away and not worry about it. We'll put that with the uh, spider egg sack. Tea house key. Yeah. We'll ignore that as well. Shiny key, I don't know about. Old key. No idea. Moss covered key. No idea. Heavy key. A long dead scribe, maybe? Was that from the, um, the place where we've got withers? I think it might have been. Heavy key. Expertly shaped into the letter S. God, I don't know. Found in a sarcophagus within a long forgotten chapel. Okay, so no, that one. That one we should have already done. Okay. I've plucked through a bloody corpse. No idea then. In a druid cave. Okay. The charred key, okay, we, we picked that lock, so... Uh, cabinet key, we've sorted. Held by a bandit guarding the entrance of a cliffside chapel. I think we've done that one as well then. Yeah, okay. Alright, good enough. I hope I can find out what I'm supposed to do with the Sylvan Stone. It looks so beautiful, I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> but I also don't want it taking up space in my inventory forever, like this ruby that I'm terrified of trying to sell because I'm not going to get the right price for it. Gosh. Sticky fingers. Whenever th anything gets into my clutches, it's a struggle to rid myself of it. <laughs> And we've got Marina's locket as well. We might as well shove that in there. Yep, by type. That's fine. Okay. And we have another journal to go in here. And the approachable east. Okay. All right. Okay. Good enough, I think. Good enough. So. Let's carry on. Oh, she can move those. Okay, good. Dance pose. Trap disarm. <laughs> More trap disarm toolkits. 
Guys. The amount of trap kits that we've got. We should be able to wander around this entire countryside and everything. Nothing in there. Brilliant. And never worry about a trap again. Never ever worry about a trap again. Nothing, okay. Four gold, sweet. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Gosh. Can we move that? We can't move that. Don't know why I bothered trying. <laughs> we can never move that. Uh, okay, let's grab all of these torches. Well, there's quite a lot here. Okay, and a candle. Don't think I've not seen you. <laughs> yep, and another candle right there. Let's grab that broom. A pleasurable deal, the shocking truth. Printed on cheap paper that nearly crumbles at the touch, this article promises the real story behind the work of Kingsley Harp. Sweet. <laughs> Okay. Nothing in the burlap sack. Okay. Nothing in that either. Can't move the sack. No. Okay. Two gold in the cupboard though. So that's nice. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Guys. Let's go on my own. He's starting to get underfoot, guys. Okay, nothing in there. Can you move that down? Yes, you can. Take that bottle. And that bottle. And the large bottle. And the bottles at your feet as well. <laughs> okay. Yep, nothing else is flagging up in this area. Not that I can see. And there's nothing on there. Okay. Check that one. Oh, we can move those. Let's do that then. Oh, we've already checked that one. Okay, nothing in any of those. Check these. Nope. Okay. Uh, she is not these tools. Okay. All right, nothing else. Okay. Oh yeah, nothing. Nothing in here. Okay, so I'm assuming the lever will open the door. Ah, uh, Nerys has taken old key from Astarian using magic pockets. Okay. Click. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, okay, okay. Ah, okay, so. That was just this? That was just that? So that wasn't the cellar at all. Okay, so that lever, will it will it lock it again? It will, okay. Okay, okay. Let's get back in here, okay guys? So, I think we might as well rest again. Just because. And then... <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about jumping down that hole. Um, Okay, very worried about jumping down that hole, but we can always check out the rest of the place first. Okay, no, I'm s still no more conversation with anyone. All right. And... Still no scratch either. I'm not seeing scratch anyway. So you must only be at the uh, lakeside camp. Unless he's in another room. Is he in here? Doesn't look like. 
Doesn't look like he is. Okay. Well, alright, if he's just in that one camp, then that's fine. It's just a little bit odd, is all. Speak. Nope, nothing from you. Well met. Nothing from you. Go ahead. I'm listening. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Nope. No, okay, nothing. That is weird. Well. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Interesting. That's a little bit nicer. Yep, nothing. <laughs> nothing good. I guess I'm just not always going to get anything from these guys. Alright, let's go to sleep anyway. Disappointing. I thought there was supposed to be a backlog, but I guess I must have caught up. Okay, I guess the decision we're going to have to make now is whether we jump down that hole or if we continue looting the village. I'm hoping that if we jump down the hole I'll just be able to fast travel out so I won't be stuck. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Obviously I'm not sure. I don't want to miss out on anything though. Okay, let's just make our way over to there. We'll go to the hole. I'm making the decision. <laughs> okay. Are you still encumbered? She is encumbered. How? Got barely anything. Let's send that to camp then. Give that to a starion if we can. Send to camp. Oh, it's the, the wine as well. Okay. Yeah, the camp supplies. And I suppose the broom. <laughs> Send that to Astarian. Uh, we'll send the water away as well. Yeah. So, can we actually use this rope? Is there, is there nothing I can... Can I tie off the rope? Can I use it that way? I'm guessing not, since I don't see anything... It doesn't say use anywhere. Ugh. Come on then. Let's... Let's jump. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. End. Okay. Sweet. Oh. Awesome. Oh! My party's been defeated though. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, I guess that had to happen. That did have to happen. Luckily, it also saved when arrested, but never mind. Okay, so jumping down the hole, bad idea. <laughs> oh, I should have used Featherfall. God damn, why didn't I even. I have the spell, why didn't I just use it? Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Well. <laughs> it looked kind of, I don't know, underdarky. And I don't think that's where I want to go. I want to, I want to stay in the village. But I kind of want to find out now. I want to find out if that is, if that was the underdark. So, where are you, Featherfall? There you are. Let's take Expeditious Retreat off and we'll put Featherfall in. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose I could keep Ex Expeditious Retreat. Yeah, sure. Leave it like that. Okay, let's try that again. This time with Featherfall. Oh, god damn. Of course, I need to get rid of all that stuff again. Send it to camp, guys. Send it all to camp. We didn't even read that shocking truth, did we? Okay. Let's read that then. Below is a transcript of an interview with the writer and director of A Pleasurable Deal, Mr. Kingsley Harp. Interviewer. What was the inspiration behind this? 
if I may be so bold, entirely lewd piece of drama. Hap. It's about exploring the taboo, seeing who we as people really are. Yes, Robert makes a deal with a Cambian, but who wouldn't? Interviewer. Well, I like to think most people wouldn't. Hap. Then you don't know most people. Everyone wants something. Everyone needs something. Cambians can see it. In a way, they know us better than we know ourselves. Interviewer. But at the end of the play, Robert dies horribly. What does that say about what we, as you put it, need? Harp. You forget. Robert dies because he broke away from Carlisle. He didn't stay true to the deal they made. Interviewer. So you're encouraging people to make a pact with Hell's offspring. To give up, as Robert did, his soul. Harp. We only have one life. Why not make the most of it? Interviewer. So, what was your deal? Harp. I beg your pardon? Interviewer. In fact, this was your directorial debut, wasn't it? You couldn't even get published in the tabloid Baldur's Bash before this play came out. Did you honestly trade your soul for an erotic play? Harp. I... Alright, we're done here. <laughs> oh, So... Someone, someone wants you to make a deal with Cambion because he did it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm in the wrong view. How did I do that? Oh, right. Okay. Alright, let's get all the way back there. Slowly, apparently. Astarian, lead the way. <laughs> oh my god. Astarian, just go. They'll catch up. It's fine. Okay, let's just... We'll do it at first level. Cast no, Featherfall. And then... Uh, well, jump. Go. Alright, there we go. That's better. And hopefully it lasts the entire way. Okay. We did it. All right, and broken bones. God, what's happening? I have no idea. There is a minotaur coming up here. <laughs> Only eighty-four hit points, though. So I don't know. Uh, let's hide and check out the bones. A dagger, sweet. Nothing. All right. Grab that bone. I know my priorities. Ooh, nightlight. A glowing fungus that responds to touch. These mushrooms are a rare comfort for travelers lost in the underdark. Uh, that's a skull. Ooh. <laughs> okay. A bottle. A pile of bones. There's nothing in there. Okay, okay. Ooh, bone cap. Sweet. And... It's not everything, uh, just have other bone caps. Alright. This feels like somewhere I shouldn't be. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have come this way. I can get out, can't I? If I can't get out, then I'm just going to reload and... Ooh, Chasm Creeper. These rare crystals can only be found at the edges of expansive chasms where they cling stubbornly to vertical stone. Awesome. Alright, well... I don't particularly want to uh, carry on down here when I could be finishing up up there. Oh. Ah, okay, Lazel is in combat now. With two Minotaurs, okay, god damn. Oh, damn, alright. There's one there and the other one is right there. So they were travelling in pairs then. Well, that puts a dampener on things, Lazelle. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. Purple crystals. Very nice. Oh, that's lovely. God, I hope this isn't the actual Underdark, because... 
yeah, I want to leave. <laughs> I want to go back and finish checking out the uh, the area up there. Well, never mind. Let's just shoot him. If we can. Low ground, don't care. He'll have to come to me. Uh, Astarian. Can you go to here? He's not going to get sneak attack because of this disadvantage for low ground, but yeah. Okay. Might as well firebolt him. It was a miss! Okay. And Nerys. I'm not sure if I want to magic missile him. I guess we'll just try a ranged attack. Yep, alright. And it's Lazel. Uh, just stay there. I'm hoping he'll jump. Yes. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. Astarian. Can you help her up? Yes. She's no longer prone. <laughs> I can't believe that that's actually, that is actually his action to do. But never mind, okay. But come on, I don't want to flourish him from that side. Let's flourish him from this side. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's saved. Okay, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> You're okay, guys. Okay. Uh, Bane, sure. Let's Bane them both. Uh, good, they're both banned. Sweet. And you can move away. <laughs> good girl. Alright. And stay there. That's fine. You, pommel strike. And oh, I saved. Okay, well never mind. Shouldn't matter. Hit him. Target is too far, why is he not telling me that? Alright, and you can action surge. Do you want to lacerate or just main hand attack? Con save. I assume those are probably going to be really good at con saves, but try it anyway. <laughs> Failed a save. All right, that's good. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Went straight for Shadow Heart. That is so mean. But it means we're not in contact anymore, so that's good. Okay, let's get some scorching rays if we can. Threatened, really? Uh, let's get them all on you then. Ooh, a couple of criticals. Very nice. Not good enough, but oh gosh, the flaw disappeared. Uh, he's just going to charge if we move away, but at the same time, I really want to move away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's move away. And stay there. Yep, that was a nasty charge. Okay. Aha, she has momentum. I never looked at see to see what momentum did, did I? Uh, increases... That uh, movement speed is increases by three meters, but it removes when it's restrained, incapacitated, prone, or slowed down. Okay. Uh, that's good. Extra three meters is awesome. She doesn't have anywhere to go right now, but it's still awesome. 56, 58. Damn, alright, alright. 49 on both of them. Can you cleave both of them? She can. Go for it. Oh, a miss. God damn. And that was only three hit point damage on that one. Get some protection on your backside, hun. 
Okay. And stay there. Starion. Um, to there. Yes. You should be able to sneak attack. Yes. Okay. Threatened. Threatened. How about Tasha's laughter? Let's try it. Save failed! Yay! Okay. <laughs> Not exactly rolling on the floor laughing, but it's good enough. Okay. Uh, hide. Good. Faith will protect me. Yeah, you you're in a bit of a pickle here, hon. Guiding bolt would probably be a good idea. That's assuming it hits. Uh, go for that one then, yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't realise she'd moved that far away from him. She's still in combat. In, in contact, isn't she? No, apparently not. Okay. Well... Try it anyway. There we go. And she really needs to do healing word on someone. Go on, Lazelle. Take you. And come back this way. Just in case. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You've knocked over Shadow Heart, but that's still just knocking her over. Do I want to Scorching Ray or Magic Missile? Scorching Ray, probably. Uh, that one's got advantage. So I should probably go for this one and have Lazelle hit that one. No, go for that one just in case. Miss! Hopefully that was just one of them missing. Yeah. Oh, she, she got a five and a six. Okay. Good enough, I guess. And it's no longer laughing, so... Come away from the edge. Uh, yeah. Missed shadow hat. Okay. Reckless raw. Creature has advantage on attack rolls, but its attackers also have advantage on attack rolls against the creature. Okay. Sneak attack then. Do it. Yes. Damn right, Astarian. Okay. And come over here. Good. Hide again. Oh. Hey, it succeeded. Good. <laughs> uh, she's, she can't get around, can she? Just get to there. And then attack him. Heck yes. Alright, it wasn't the best, but it was good enough. Okay. And... Mm, what should she do? Shield of faith. On herself, why not? And yeah, she has her melee weaponry out. Good. Lizelle. Ah, oh, okay. Hit that one, yeah. Yeah, just hit it. Nice. Okay. Good enough. 
That is good enough. And get a second wind off. Sweet, okay. All right. Oof. Well, Astarian's down. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Uh, that one's only got three hit points. I could definitely get rid of that with magic missile. I'm gonna try it with Scorching Ray though. Okay, we got one. Good. And <laughs> you're not looking too hot, hon. Take a potion of healing. It's the best you can do. Okay. He got a success on his death saves, so he should be okay. You. Can you do a rush attack against that guy? Target is blocked. Okay, we'll come to... Uh, no. Sure, that's fine. Do that. Why not? <laughs> God damn. Ah, uh, okay. Can't see the little arrow. It's fine. You're okay. Healing word in. Let's get him up that way. Poor Astarian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you have much to do. But you can take a health potion. Yep. Lizelle. Hit him. Okay. And then come around here. All right, and rally Astarian. Give him some extra hit points, just in case. Oh, <laughs> okay, he went for me instead. That's fine. It's all good. Can you get a sneak attack from that? <laughs> yes. Do a do a melee one though. Sweet. Well done. Okay, uh, someone help me up. All right. Decent, okay. And we got Amulet of the Unworthy. Resistance to slashing damage and vulnerability to bludgeoning damage, okay. Once part of the girdle of blades, this buckle was torn off and fashioned into an amulet that can be worn by creatures of all sizes. And 22 gold. Sweet. And this guy, the crispy one. 10 gold, a malachite, and a skull. <laughs> okay. Lovely. All right. Well, this was nice, but I'm ready to leave. Ooh, swarming toadstool. That's cool. Oh, Viridian crystal. Oh my gosh. Fools, known as Fool's Emerald, Viridian Crystal is a brittle, sharp crystal. It's difficult to craft, but has some uses in alchemy. Okay. Please tell me I can leave. I should be able to just... Yes, okay, good. Alright, I can go, to, go back down there at any point, but that was terrifying. <laughs> that was really kind of terrifying, and I'd rather not, not do that again. Um... <laughs> Let's go back to sleep. So another rest. Although I'm, I'm very surprised and very put out that I've not been getting any interactions with my uh, companions. It's still nothing from any of them. Okay. Is it because of the type of camp? Should we all be in the Riverside camp? Is that when everything happens? Maybe? I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess this is just what's going to happen now. I guess we're just waiting on something to happen. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I've already asked them all this. 
Yeah, all right, let's just grab some wine from the chest and go to sleep. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to leave it here now. Next episode, we'll go back into the village and we'll finish clearing that out. And I guess we'll finish the goblin camp as well. I can always come back here and jump down the hole when I need to, but I don't know. It just, I didn't want to open up a new area until I'd finished the area I was doing. I guess we'll see. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. I upload five videos a week, so subscribe and you'll be notified when those go live. Hit the bell to update your notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.